What is up? What is up? What is up? This is George I. Courtright, and damn it, y'all, we is back. Yes, long hiatus, and uh, eventually I'll tell you why. Uh, just things just ain't moving in the right direction the way I want, but guess what? I ain't gonna tell y'all why at this time but as you can see i'm back uh my sister back she about to unplug the video camera but that's all right we'll figure it out <laughs> we'll figure it out had people come by last week to try to do a show shit wouldn't work why shit just ain't working out for me right now but guess what hey we all having a good time we all happy and as you can see we got this new booty another new, new booty. booty new booty hey! and new booty hey who are you? My name is Eddie James. All right, Eddie James. You're going to need to speak up. <laughs> speak louder. <laughs> speak louder. Well, I'm your uncle, Eddie James. Hey, and that takes out my next question. Who the hell are you? This is my uncle, Ed. <laughs> uncle, I should have brought the vodka. Uncle Ed's damn oh, good yeah. vodka. Damn but vodka. anyways, uh, yeah, this is my uncle, Ed. He is going to be sitting in on this week's uh, Mad Week. And it's been a while since I've seen you motherfuckers. You've seen me, I guess. Uh, we got uh, some old shit to talk about with some new shit. Because I like to mix shit in. So, uh, what the fuck have I been up? You know what? I got a lot of shit that I've been up to. But not really. So, we're going <laughs> to uh, say, what you what you be doing? What, what, what's been in your life the last couple of weeks? What you been up to? Working. Working. Working? What, yes. do you, what do you do? I'm an electrician in St. Louis. All you know, right. All right. At the present time, we building a hospital. So Yo, building a hospital? Yeah. yeah. So, you doing all the electricity shit inside the inside hospital? Inside the hospital. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, from the... The, from the generators to the lights. From the rooter to the tutor, huh? <laughs> from the deck to the room. Oh, oh shit. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, I didn't know you did. I thought you was doing like uh, individual houses and shit. I do on my own. Oh, uh, side I'm, hustle. I'm actually an IBEW electrician. I don't know what the fuck that means. That's a, a union electrician. Oh, a union electrician. Hey. And you work for a bigger uh, general contractor? Yes. Or, okay, okay. Cool, cool, I am cool. a contractor myself. But All right, yes. and do you do side hustles for uh, like individuals? They're like, hey, I got no, that, no, not necessarily. Just, I just have my own little properties. Oh, okay, I, okay. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. Fix. So yeah, you, little Mister Fix It over here. Of course. Uh, that's all good. <laughs> hey, side hustles is how we hustle. Goddamn it. Exactly. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Side hustle. All right, <laughs> a little, little sneak peek. Talk about a sneak peek. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Side hustle. Uh oh, just a little sneak peek. <laughs> Give you a little shoulder. Take it right back. Give a little leg, leg. Take it right back. Uh so that's what he's been up to. What the fuck have I been up to? Well. Uh, trying to hustle. Uh, y'all know about Mad King clothing. Yes. Uh, it's getting closer and closer to release. Uh, my underwear, my draws, my draws gonna come in. Uh, hopefully next week, so I'll be ready to drop some draws. Ready to, <laughs> ready to drop some draws. <laughs> about ready to drop them draws, y'all. Ooh, that's a nice part. <laughs> Nice marketing. I'm about ready to drop these draws. All right. Uh, so that uh, got the shirts coming. Uh, got hats. A sample of hats should be coming up soon. Nice. So gonna have some fly ass shit for the world to fucking buy. Yes. And I'm ready for y'all to see and be excited for it. I already got people like George. When are the fucking draws coming? It's like, hey, I want chill. My hat. Hey, well, hey, dude. It. I'm gonna have. There's this dope ass hat. I just need to finalize pay, it. Uh, pay the deposit on the motherfucker. Well, it, it's got this little intricate thing, and before I can even get the sample, I gotta pay one hundred and thirty dollars for the fucking sample. When other places they ain't gotta do the sample, like yeah, ain't gotta pay for the shit. But this is gonna be a premium ass motherfucking thing. It's gonna hey, be dope. It's gonna right. be dope. Is it like a baseball cap? Uh yeah. Uh, let me see where. So I'm gonna have, actually, might have to do some snapbacks. But uh, gonna have the ones where uh, it's like 
Flex Fit. Yeah. Flex Fit yeah, is an uh, actual brand, so uh, one size fits most right. type uh, stretch fit. Stretch fit, I should say, because that's not actual brand. So most of them are gonna be stretch fit. I might get some snapbacks, but I want something that's gonna give like a high quality, uh, nice stable uh, look to it. So gotta make will. sure. There will. Uh, yeah, and then there's gonna be the premium one. The premium one. That's the one I gotta drop the 130 so I can get a mold or something. Mm. <laughs> so I've been fucking working on uh, Mad King clothing. Um, and I've been vacationing. Me and Boo, we went on a vacation. What we do? What did we do? We went to Puerto Rico. We flew into Puerto Rico and got a cruise. Once again, a virgin cruise. This time we're on the Resilient Lady. No, Valiant? I don't know. I can't remember. We was on a Valiant Lady, the Resilient Lady. Uh, what, the I name, kind of lady. That's the name of the boat? Yeah, the name of the boat. Uh, we went on a Virgin cruise uh, in August in uh, uh, out of Greece, so I can't, I think that was Resilient Lady, and the, this one is Valiant Lady. Uh, pull that picture up again. Uh, on the boat. Oh, I, I guess lady, I, lady. I I didn't. Wait a minute. Oh, it, it might have the name. Pull it back up. Again. It does Valiant Lady. But anyways, we flew into Puerto Rico. Uh, had a good time. We stayed the night there. Uh, with with this boat, uh, it was different. It uh, went out of the port on Saturday to Saturday. Most other cruises, I think all other cruises that I've been on, went from Sunday to Sunday. Mm -hmm. This was Saturday to Saturday. Pretty cool. So we got in Puerto Rico on Friday. Uh, hung out, went to dinner, went to the casino, had a good time. Uh, next day, woke up, went to the beach, got ready, and then we went to the boat. So had a good time. Boat was the same like design same room same uh restaurants as the boat we went on in uh greece but it was still cool uh virgin mm -hmm. is dope because there ain't no kids ain't no yes. kids on it the no kids thing is really dope uh when we went on carnival a couple of years ago which wifey said she ain't never going on another carnival <laughs> cruise again it was like 15 kids in a damn hot tub couldn't even get in oh. so and they just fucking around and it was like eight o'clock at night like little kid get your ass out the damn hot tub <laughs> Well, my, like go, they got snorkels on going underneath the water. <laughs> the hot tub. Hot tub. What the fuck is going on? Kids. Yeah, kids. Yeah. Right. But uh, there, there's a bunch of grown up kids on this just ready to party. They they ready to party. That's man. on Virgin. On Virgin. Uh, what I mean is, uh, dude, uh, is that I ain't trying to like call nobody out, but it was this gay dude that was a lawyer and was on like thirty days of cruising because he didn't have a case anytime soon so he was working during the day wow. kicking it at night and he was just, he was ready to party <laughs> <laughs> uh he was good dude good good guy had a good time uh conversing with him um but the places we went to was aruba uh then curacao that was the second time i ever been to curacao then we went to Martinique. Actually, it was my first, second time being in Aruba as well. Uh, went to Martinique. That was my first time in Martinique. And then St. Kitts. Wifey loves St. Kitts. We went to a nice beach in St. Kitts. She loved that shit. So uh, my recommendation, people go to St. Kitts because she liked it. <laughs> uh, bought some trinkets and all that stuff. Uh, bought some curacao from curacao yep got I my bottle got my mom some masks she got a wall full of masks of all the places i've been so uh that is what the fuck i've been up to um just having a good time living life man that's what's up Having a good time. That's what you gotta do. You know, mm -hmm. we, we, we say work we hard and play soon. harder. Uh, yeah, work hard, play harder, uh, and. I gotta get that little part out the way because I got my little bambino coming yes. next month. So congratulations! Uh, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Can't wait. 
So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I know uh, scheduling for this show has been a little sketchy, and it might get a little sketchier when I got a little man coming. Yes, I said little man because it's a boy. Uh, so, we're going to do what we can do. Hopefully, y'all stay patient with me. Hopefully, I keep bringing content with you. Uh, I still got some some scraggling ass uh, in them streets I can put out when I feel <laughs> like doing shit. I got them. I'll put them out. Uh, Ain't T's at the movies. We're going to yes. keep doing those. Uh, hopefully, we can do one this weekend. Got a little surprise for the fans <laughs> of Ain't T's at the movies. Yeah. Might have another extra ink tea. Ain't tea. Can I get two ain't teas with a side of ain't tea? Uh, <laughs> so you might have to work on it, though. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you know, we try to butter up this third ain't tea. Uh, just to get it on there. But, I think we got it. I think oh, we got it. Hopefully. I think we did it. All right. So uh, let's begin. Um, like, like I said, we got to mix some of the old with the new. Uh, we're going to start with the old. I ain't seen, seen y'all's ass in a while. <laughs> so we got to just go ahead and uh, give a congratulations to the Kansas City Chiefs uh, for Woo-hoo. winning the Super Bowl. Yes. Uh, who was your team? You in St. Louis. Was your team the Rams when they were there? No. I, was, <laughs> I honestly was a Brady fan until Brady retired. So, uh, uh, so my Patriots. My last team was the the Buccaneers. Buccaneers. So, so I sense that my wife loves Kansas City, so now I'm a Kansas City fan. Oh, so you've been a Kansas City fan uh, for the since, last two well, years. Uh, <laughs> wait a minute. No, Brady beat Kansas City? Yeah, Brady beat Kansas City. Uh, right? Back away. Uh, back yeah. Away. But they, Kansas City got their three. Yeah. Kansas City got their three, yeah. but Brady beat them. Um, otherwise, they'd have four. Uh, but... Congratulations! It sucks that my pops had to give his soul uh, in order for the Chiefs to start, start winning, winning the Super Bowl. Bowl. <laughs> yeah! Pops passed. They win the Super Bowl yes. three times after his pass. Yes. One of the biggest Chiefs fucking fans. He took yeah. me to my first football game, which was uh, Chiefs versus mm. Cowboys. <laughs> And yeah, he, he passed away, and now they start they they a fucking dynasty. Right. <laughs> yeah, they just they up. I guess they uh, yeah. No, dad to put his little his head, look. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Angels in the outfield. Yeah. <laughs> Pops in the outfield. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, whatever it is, it's working for him. Yeah. 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 Hey, he doing his business out there. Yeah. Uh, but. Uh, with happiness comes tragedy, and that bullshit done happened at the parade um, during the Super Bowl oh, Fifty Three. Yeah, there was a mass shooting right. during the oh, yeah, celebration right. parade uh, in Kansas City. One dead with two other dozen wounded. Uh, the wounded ranged from eight to forty-seven. Uh, that is bullshit. Uh, shooting happened even though there was over 800 police out there. This wasn't the first time there's been a shooting at one of these celebration parades, but it's, it really hasn't happened that many times. Yeah. I mean, it's ridiculous. There's no, no, no call for it. <laughs> it ain't. It, it's just stupid it's motherfuckers so- being stupid motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. Uh, trying to celebrate. Uh, try, people but try to celebrate. How do you celebrate killing somebody? Uh, well, uh, I'll, I'll let you know the, <laughs> the story. Uh, Liddell Mays and Dominic Miller are charged with the shootings. Uh, Mays just got off probation for flashing a gun at a basketball game. <laughs> uh, so he was just getting over his probation. And then this picture is him in court for That's the shit. Uh, you give money to get out? Restitution? No. No. Oh, uh, bail. 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 Uh, bail hearing right now. He's, he's in there with no bail, and he's going to court to see if he can get out on no. bail, and uh, he'd be on the streets. Uh, back on <laughs> back in them streets, uh, even though he did this shit. So what happened? So what happened? Well, from my research, uh, during the argument, pull, Mays... Once again, pulled out a gun because he said he felt threatened because somebody said, I'm going to get you. Two days. <laughs> so he pulled his gun out and started shooting first. Uh, he said others started shooting after. He said, 
Mays told p- police, <laughs> Mays <laughs> made the statement that others started shooting after I started shooting. <laughs> Why the fuck would you tell somebody that? <laughs> Uh, once again, this this man ain't the smartest. No. Uh, Mays was shot. Miller was the other person that was shot, uh, shooting. He was shot. Uh, as a matter of fact, he had to miss some court dates because he was hospitalized because he was shot. Uh, but th- I don't know if it's going to work, but they both could possibly get off due to the stand your ground rule. What well, ain't no oh. stand your ground rule. But if you said he was on probation, he wasn't he, supposed to have, have a, gun a gun anyway. anyway. He True. wasn't on probation. He had just got off. But that's enough. Is he, it? I mean, if you're a felon, you can't have no gun. Yeah, if you're a felon, you mm. can't have no gun. Actually, Period. from personal experience, you really, <laughs> you really don't have to have a felony if you did a crime that requires you to be in jail for over... Uh, I think it's 30 days you still consider under federal law a felon. So wow. to not own a to possess a firearm. So he shouldn't have had it in his possession whatsoever. At all. So oh, wow. so no matter what that's probably like 10 years or something and then uh just going off in mm. in the crowd uh, with that I many mean, lives I, as I, he, no. he I mean that's reckless endangerment. Yeah, yeah. reckless, exactly. very re- reckless. Very. But yeah, uh, it did, it did say something about the possible stand your ground rule though, being that he felt threatened. But that's in I thought that was only in Florida the stand your ground rule. No, mm, and I think from, it's in a lot of, in a couple of more states they have oh, it too. Uh, from my research, it said that might be a possibility in that wow. uh, we're in Missouri. So in Missouri, yeah, in Missouri. Wow. So, but you know what? Yep, he can eat a whole bag of dicks. He don't need to be out, and uh, it might not be a bag, but if he in there, he might have some <laughs> dicks. <laughs> 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 I don't know about what's going on in there, but there might be some dicks coming his way. Yeah. Uh, so, once again, shouts out to the Kansas City Chiefs uh, for winning Super Bowl 53. And unfortunately, shots out went out at the parade. <laughs> <laughs> so that's unfortunate. All right. So, uh, so you a Chiefs fan now? I am a Chiefs fan. You are a Chiefs fan now. So let's roll into the former Chief Tyreek Hill is being sued by a model slash influencer. Her name is Sophie Hall. Sophie Hall. Uh, This model influencer is suing Tyreek Hill, a legend. He broke her leg uh, doing football drills at his house. Uh, Pull up the picture of the lady again. She got 20 million Instagram followers. Uh, Nice looking lady. Uh, And the, the shit is fucking funny. Honestly, uh, I'm curious. Suspense, suspense. Uh, she claims Hill broke her leg after forcefully and purposely shoving her after she humiliated and enraged him. He's being charged with battery assault, intentional infliction of emotional distress. And funny, funny. At the time, she's only seeking fifty thousand dollars. After a broken leg and shit like that, oh, and it, it, he, you know, umpteen millions of right. dollars, yeah. and this was on his property, property. and all oh. this stuff. Right. But she just, Ooh. she just need fifty million. Uh, she, <laughs> she just need. need 50 she just need. 50 50 <laughs> <laughs> uh, she wanted to get that new Tesla. No. <laughs> uh, so what happened? This is the story. All right. So Hall has a the Sophie Hall has a 10-year-old son who enrolled in Tyreek Hill's football camp. Shortly after purchasing, she started receiving flirtatious messages on Instagram. I don't know how Tyreek got her personal information, but he did. And he sent messages allegedly saying, I've been known to be a good stepdaddy. Tyreek's married. I don't know if he was at the time, but he definitely have a lady now. Uh, This happened in 2022? Or 23. I can't remember. All right. But anyways, he's being sued now for the shit. Uh, so he was receiving, she was receiving text messages, messages from him, flirtatious. Uh, Hill said to, uh, told her 
to come a day early so um, me and mom can hang. So once again, flirtatious shit. This this is all setting up. Uh, while there, Tyreek invited her back to his house at a later date uh, where he paid all arrangements. So uh, the camp was June 17th, and she went on an extra visit uh, June 28th. So uh, he had asked her to come day early so they could hang. Uh, I don't know if they had hung or not, but her son went to the camp. During that, after that, he arranged for her to come back and visit him. She did June 28th. Uh, when she got there, he, you know, and this is summertime, he in training, trying to keep in shape yeah. for, right. for dolphins, you know, right. doing his routes, all doing, right. you know, cones and all, all that right. shit. All right. That's Hitting what he do. Fucking pads and all that shit. You know, doing his football shit. Well, she got there and he was doing that. He invited her to fucking do some drills. Can we go back to her stats? She is a six foot one plus size model. He invited to do football trails because he was in mid training. Uh, she rushed against him, pushed him back, and he was embarrassed. <laughs> it, this is what she. This is her claim. Like she was, you know, rushing, pushed him yeah. back, and you know he's small, she big. He stumbled right. and got embarrassed. Obviously, he there's other people. That's what I was, that was going to yeah. be my question. There's going to there be other? people around, like right. his trainers and all that yeah. stuff. Probably like two, maybe three people around. Yeah. She, plus size model, <laughs> bump a little man back. He got embarrassed, so he switched it up and mm -hmm. said he'll rush against her. And uh, when he did, he violently <laughs> went at her, and she ended up breaking her leg. She had to have orthopedic reconstruction surgery with hardware implant, and she still only asking for 50000 Yeah, so. Mm. Now, that picture that you just brought a second ago, she didn't look as big as she do it on a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he had to shovel pretty hard for her to break her leg, yeah. though. It, hey. He was embarrassed. <laughs> so, yeah. Look, his feelings. Were yeah, his feelings was hurt, so, so he, he had yeah. hurt people. Hurt people. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that is Tyreek Hill. So wow. that, yeah, that, 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 that's some crazy <laughs> shit. All right, so we're gonna go back and forth, back and forth. Uh, yeah. One thing I want to talk about, and hearts go out to everybody who's being fucked over by the texas wildfires uh you hear about these no oh my god uh the biggest wildfires in texas going on right now now <laughs> right now uh over one million plus acres one million acres burning uh total uh thirty one thousand acres uh burned in oklahoma but it ain't even hot yet why where did wildfires start uh it only takes a little bit but what I saw today when I wanted to like confirm if it was still going or say, uh, sorry for the wildfire still going or sorry for the wildfires that was gone. Yeah. Uh, and they still going, but they say, uh, oh shit, did I not write it down? Oh, may have been caused by down power lines from XL oh, Energy. okay. Uh, ooh, you don't, you don't work for no XL <laughs> Energy, do you? <laughs> <laughs> like, missed it by that. Much. <laughs> you ain't got nothing to do with the wildfires. No. <laughs> XL Energy fix to get hit. Yeah. yeah. But and they coming out and saying it once again, like Liddell <laughs> Mays talking about. I shot first. Uh, XL Energy is like, yeah. It might have been us. <laughs> <laughs> like, I ain't been to nothing. Yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, unfortunately, uh, at least two dead. Uh, this is, I got that information last week, and the what I read today is still said two dead. So that's a good thing. So no more lives have been lost. But uh, when I first saw it, it said thousands of cattle have died. Ooh. Since then, it's over seven thousand cattle, cattle? have Dang. died. Uh, each cattle is worth. Uh, probably like twenty five hundred to three thousand. I said, yeah. Uh, this might put a strain on fucking uh, every yeah beef. 
So uh, no more steaks, yeah, no steaks more and all that shit. Well, it ain't well, it, it's, it it's not stop. gonna be. It's, it's gonna, gonna stop. Yeah, it ain't gonna stop. It's, it's gonna just it's gonna be more steaks. Gonna be I more. Gotta have my steaks. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I hate paying eight dollars a pound for a fucking steak. Right. What kind of shit is that? Well, just wait now. Yeah, it might be ten dollars a pound. <laughs> all right. I heard chicken is pretty good right about now. <laughs> 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 Those uh, Chick Fil A commercials, right? Eat more chicken. That might that might have to happen. Uh, so, hearts go out to everybody uh, affected negatively uh, from these wildfires. Uh, it sucks, and it just sucks. Yeah, it's just been. But so, it is still going on. Yeah, it's still going on. Over a million acres, people that's, have lost like all they shit. That's sad. All they shit, you know. Even like the air quality is gonna fuck yeah. up people. Uh, that's, that's acid sad. rain probably because eh, is it acid rain or just bad rain or it's something just, when the smoke goes up? Mm-hmm. Uh, so it, it's just it changed our quality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that shit is just fucked all the way up. Uh, while we're in Texas, let's go to another Texas story. Uh, and we got, we got to combine two. We was talking about football. We was talking about Texas. So now we're going to talk about Jerry Jones, New the Cowboys. owner of Dallas, Texas football. Uh, a judge upheld a decision to require Jerry Jones to take a paternity test <laughs> as a part of a legal dispute with a 27-year-old woman claiming what? to be his biological daughter, oh. Alexandra oh. Davis. Did I think I wrote? <laughs> I can't read my handwriting. Sometimes I get excited and try to write all this information. Well, I thought and, she was fixing to say he had them popped out another kid somewhere. <laughs> uh, that that's what I'm saying. Well, that, that, I'm talking about recently. That, oh, say that's oh no, she's she 27. She 27 years old. Uh, in 2022, judge ruled Jerry Jones to take a test. Lawyers challenging uh, Constitution of Texas to. Uh, to force the test. So, so in 2022, uh, Judge Rule Jerry Jones take a test, but uh, Jerry's lawyer is saying it's unconstitutional to force somebody to take a paternity test. But the judge ended up upholding and say, yeah, you got to take that shit. Uh, Davis is her name. Alexandra Davis, not David. Uh, Davis sued Jones in March of 2022 to avoid a legal agreement her mom reached with Jones two years after her birth. So, it seems like the paternity test is just confirmed mm-hmm. because once again, mm-hmm. there's already a contract in place <laughs> with her mama to shut the fuck up. Right. About right. Uh, 1998, an agreement states Jones would support the and uh, support the lady, her mom, financially as long as they didn't publicly say Jones was the daddy. Oh. Uh, yeah. Both Jones and Mama Cynthia Davis were married to other people at the time. Uh, Davis ended up dropping the suit in 2022 in order to just prove Jones is her daddy. So uh, instead of dropping that, uh, don't uh, the NDA yeah. uh, non-disclose yeah. agreement to shut the fuck up. Uh, she was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna prove that that is her daddy, that she he is my daddy. But uh, side note, might have to come back to the side note. But if she sued about that contract, isn't that bringing to light the, that yeah, that were, situation? But, so she should be sued uh, and get Jerry Jones will get all that money back because she brought it right. to public. <laughs> so that she voided that she breached, the breached contract. she breached the contract yeah. by doing that. That, that's just me. I, <laughs> I didn't go to law school, so I but don't know. What does she have to gain? Why is it so important that she want to Jerry Jones to be to be known that that's her father? She's 27 years old. She is 27 years <laughs> old. There ain't no that child support. That was a contract between the mama and Jerry. There was no contract between her and Jerry. Uh, right. So it, that ain't a no breach of contract. Uh, it was for them. Them to keep it a secret. So, them, 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 them. but she's a baby. Then she didn't know about it. It don't matter. She, she if she's, she's still named, still, yeah, she's part of them. <laughs> uh, 
uh, probably uh, the hush money to the husband at the time too. Right. Because like, well, I'm pretty sure that the wife husband probably thought he was the daddy to yeah. yeah. he, he Jerry Jones just slipping him a couple of dollars in nine years. Yeah, 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 you just you know, sorry, you know, right. your woman up. No. Right. <laughs> well, you gotta right. think they probably was having an affair, so I don't think he was paying Jerry. I mean, Jerry was paying him. Uh, we we don't know about we that. We don't know, but right. yeah. The lawsuit claims uh, Jones pursued Mama when she worked at American Airlines. Uh, <laughs> the agreement allegedly states that Jones pays Cynthia three hundred seventy-five thousand and uh, Alexandra to receive certain monthly, annual, and special funding from a trust until she is twenty-one, as well as a lump sum when she is twenty-four, twenty-six, and twenty-eight. Uh, Jones. <laughs> Jones uh, lawyers state that Alexandra Davis has already received millions of dollars in her lifetime. Hey, so it, a bunch of different things on that. Yeah. She are it, he ain't paying unless he already know exactly. <laughs> that that's his kid. So I don't know why is he having a you know he he bringing he more to, uh, bringing it more to light by saying oh. That ain't my kid. I ain't paying. Yeah, I ain't paying for that. But yet, everything that you've done you've in the past paying. yeah year, twenty seven years, you've been paying. <laughs> you've been paying. So uh, this is Jerry Jones, and this is his life. <laughs> uh, Schmiedel. <laughs> oh, that's what we kind of look like. <laughs> my precious. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes. All right. And one thing leads into another. So uh, the Cowboys uh, play at AT AT&T Arena in Dallas, Texas. Well, there's an event coming up July 20th in the Dallas Arena, Texas. Uh, That sounds stupid, but the Dallas Cowboys Arena in Dallas, Texas. Mm -hmm. Uh, And that is Tyson, Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul. Mike Tyson Ooh. gonna fight again? Mike Tyson, age fifty-eight, is about to fight Jake Paul, age no. twenty-seven, uh, July twentieth in Dallas. It'll be Netflix's first live streaming boxing match. It might be the highest viewed boxing event. Is of it? Is century. it gonna be like a uh, what they had the, the event he did the last time uh, with uh, Roy Jones? He, yeah. he had an ex- exhibition, exhibition. Yeah, with is, is uh, Roy Jones, uh, July. 2020. That was eight round exhibition with Roy Jones uh, Jr. 2020. They haven't stated if this is going to be a mm-hmm. sanctioned. Uh, unclear if this is sanctioned or an exhibition. Okay. Uh, but Jake Paul trying to be a real boxer. He started off with the YouTuber versus YouTuber thing. Then he uh, knocked out Nate Robinson, uh, ex NBA uh, player. Mm-hmm. Then he went after some MMA players. Uh, MMA. MMA fighters and beat most of them. He's nine and one. Jake Paul is nine and one. Uh, he lost to one of the MMA fighters, but the, his last two fights were against actual uh, boxers, and he knocked both of them out. So he coming up and well, surprisingly, you know, doing doing very well. He had an exhibition with Mayweather as well. Mike Tyson still looked really good. And that's that's what the internet is saying. And, and I don't know about uh, look, look exhibition or not. I'm not fixing to go and play with. Him. No. They, he better Jake Paul better hope it's an exhibition because <laughs> with, with the rules of exhibition, it's like you're not violently trying to exactly a, a, attack the other yeah. person. It's like a sparring, you know, show what you got, blah right. blah. Well, that's what exhibition. Uh, if it's a real fight, he gotta get ooh. It, Jake Paul, he 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 eyed and Mike Tyson lost his last two fights. Uh, the last time Tyson actually had a real fight was two thousand five, uh, June of two thousand five, and the last two like real fights he had, he lost. I think so he, he, he was going through quite a bit of stuff at the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he, he had been going through a lot of stuff lately. <laughs> he was uh, going through some things. Mike Tyson's record professionally is fifty six and six. Forty four knockouts. Mm-hmm. Uh yeah. and Mike, if this is 
Real deal, it might be 45 knockouts. <laughs> right. Uh, that's what well, this, the guy's still going to get a nice little oh. gonna get a nice little purse regardless. So He already signed real. like a, a deal with Netflix. Say, uh, yeah. Jake Paul signed a deal with Netflix, yeah. and it just so happened, I guess it's going to be Mike Tyson in that. I'm, I'm watching the shit. Oh, I'm watching, I, I, of course. I, I, I and watch and it's free? About, yeah. Yeah, so, like I said, and just... Being like that, uh, they they'll be able to see how many people viewed it and all that stuff. Yeah. It'll be the most watched uh, boxing because because it's free. Everything yeah. is usually pay per view, and people you know, you know how people are. You know, they ain't paying no seventy five dollars for this shit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, the most viewed match uh, of recent times. Uh, was Pacquiao versus Mayweather, and that was mm. four point six million mm. viewers. Mm. But that was once again that was pay per view. Yeah. I actually bought that. I paid the seventy five dollars. <laughs> 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 I, I had people over, watched yeah. it, and all that stuff. But yeah, Tyson to at fifty eight, yeah. almost sixty. Well, didn't uh, didn't George Foreman get back in there? He was pretty old on his last I fight, he, wasn't he? I think he was on the verge of being fifty, if not fifty. So oh, it wasn't no fifty eight. <laughs> it yeah he, he yeah he got back Ooh, in there and fifty ish. When he was yeah. fighting Dante Dante Wilder whatever his name I thought he was pretty old. Uh, I don't think it was this high. This 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 this, this is pretty yeah pretty old. <laughs> like I said it's but, still Mike Tyson. Yeah it's still Mike Tyson. I wouldn't I wouldn't do it. <laughs> I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't shadow <laughs> box with Mike Tyson shadow. <laughs> God damn! I ain't messing with that shit. Well, I, if uh, for fifty, how many, how many million he getting? I had to think really hard oh, about that. I, I didn't, I didn't see the the, the payout, but I know Jake Paul uh, had the deal with the uh, Netflix, and I'm sure there's gonna be some kind of uh, bonus or some shit. Mm-hmm. But uh, with a bonus, guess what he can buy? He can buy some new Trump shoes. Oh, <laughs> you seen those shoes Trump had? No. This month, this month, Trump got shoes. Trump got some sneakers. They're limited edition, and there is only one thousand pair. They go for three hundred and ninety nine dollars. Uh, they're called the Never Surrender High Tops. They won't be shipped until July twenty twenty four. They're made by the Wyoming company Forty Five Footwear. Uh, there was an autographed pair that was bought. Like at an auction by a Ukraine uh, collector for nine thousand dollars, and he said since he got those shoes, he's been offered double. Not uh, Well, give me a can of spray paint. <laughs> and I can hook them right up. I can get them. <laughs> Make you some uh, Trump shoes. Some Trump shoes. Nine thousand dollars. And the... it's like, yeah, it, it's just things he's doing all kinds of stupid shit. But guess what? That's because he's gone to court several times, and he owes three hundred and fifty-five million to he's New York <laughs> for the bullshit that he uh, mm. his bullshit businesses. Mm. And he also went to court and he lost, and he owes uh, Joan Carroll. Uh, eighty-three point three million dollars for a defamation case. Ooh. So he owes over four hundred million dollars, uh, in court case shit, and that's less than half of the court cases that he's out for. Well, he but, probably just gonna file bankruptcy. <laughs> you can't file bankruptcy against uh, uh, the state? Court, uh, uh court, fat, oh, like about court shit, yeah. yeah. You'll get yo know, whatever you whatever you come bring in, it's, it's gonna, gonna get take, docked. Yeah, they take it from court everything. cases and shit. Yeah, talk about taking his house and everything. They take everything. Taking the tower from yeah. They take but house. yeah, this motherfucker is about to be running for president. I don't, see how. I don't understand. I don't understand. How is that possible? All these cases, all this money, all this fraud. It's like the rules for everything change. Just on. change. He. I don't, don't, Get it. The 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 inciting the, yeah the insurrection inciting a damn riot yes, a, that's in Washington D.C. That's against the law. It this guy man. So how is yeah Mutiny. he should be arrested for that alone and in he, prison. He should be. He should be. 
Uh, let's go ahead and uh, throw out a couple of rest in pieces. Uh, I only got two. I'm sure there's more, but rest in peace to all those who have passed since the last time I stated. But uh, one of the people that I want to say was Carl Weathers. Mm -hmm. uh, he from passed Rocky. away. Yeah, from Apollo Creed, original Apollo Creed. Creed. Uh, Happy Gilmore movie yeah. and that character was helping Gronk who missed the fucking field goal again right. <laughs> for, the, right. for the promotion but uh, he was all over the commercials and they're still playing him uh, and it, I, during the Super Bowl it did have the whole rest in peace uh, at the end of it so that was dope um, so he passed, he was 76 Richard Lewis uh, comedian uh, watching shit on the plane I started watching Curb Your Enthusiasm again. Mm. Did you ever watch that? Never. Fucking hilarious. <laughs> uh, and, I st and yeah, he, he's on there uh, a little bit. So when I, you know, just started going back to that, watching him, and now he just passed away on February 27th. He was 76. On the plane, I started season 11 but when I went back to catch up where I had yes. cut off, I was season six. Uh, and that, they they talk about some shit that they can't get away with now. <laughs> man, there's this episode uh, where the main dude, the main dude is the creator of Seinfeld. It's like co-creator co uh -huh. of Seinfeld. Like the George Costanza character is actually right. based on him. Oh. Um, there's an episode where they're going into, like, waiting in line to go to a movie. Oh. Yeah. One's like, oh, you can't do that these days. It's kind of like watching South Park. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, There's a, a lot of things that you, you go back and rewatch. It's like, yeah. that shit won't fly these At days. At all. Like, oh my goodness. Yeah. Uh, so, let's see. What, times what? have changed. Oh, the, the t times they are changing. Yes. yes. Yeah. All right. So, previous, previous shows always talked about the fucking zombie apocalypse. <laughs> Talk about getting my fucking guns ready. Oh, why you need so many guns or what? I ain't got that many guns. I only got one, but I need to get more. And guess what? I'm definitely going to start getting more guns because I'm afraid of the goddamn zombie apocalypse. And it's starting with deer. The zombie deer disease is spreading. It affects deer, elk, moose, caribou, reindeer. They call it the zombie deer disease because there's drooling. They look lethargic. They're stumbling. And there's a vacant gaze. Why they call it the zombie, zombie they deer? They call it zombie, <laughs> zombie deer disease. <laughs> no, well, rabies. Uh, That's Cujo what they had like. Cujo, no, Cujo had, had rabies, rabies. And yeah. he was vicious. He was attacking. He yeah. had energy. Yeah, These motherfuckers no. are yeah. slow. They look like the stars. And they don't know if it can catch into if humans. If it's contagious. Yeah, oh. to humans or spread to humans. There's some shit that animals can get and humans don't can't. Don't eat no elk. So, oh. at, caribou. Exactly. Reindeer. I, get your guns up, people. Get your guns up. Zombie apocalypse possible. Zombie. Man. Put the zombie Man. deer. Yeah, the, 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 the zombie deer disease. Wow. See, I'm, I'm that would afraid. be crazy to see a lethargic deer coming at you. No, 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 <laughs> no. I don't want to see none of it. It's like they coming for me. Let me get my guns. Right. Up. <laughs> see, up on ammunition. Yeah, exactly. Shoot them in the brain. Shoot them right. in the brain. That's how you kill the zombies. All right. What else we got? Uh, we got Tesla Roadster. New car. Everybody getting a fucking Tesla. I'm hearing about Tesla so goddamn much now. I mean, uh, it's not uncommon to see them now. At first, when they no. first started, I see a lot of them in St. Louis. I seen the truck in person for the first time. Yeah. The, that is a ugly fucking thing. I don't like the trucks. They ugly as yeah. a motherfucker. But uh, the Tesla Roadster is supposed to be coming out, even though uh, it was announced in 2017, but it missed its release dates in 2020, 2022, and 2023. But they say it supposedly will be out in 2025. It's going to cost $200,000, and Elon Musk says it's coming. He also stated that it can get 0 to 100 Ooh. in under one second. 
Oh, no. That's No, it's not impossible. That's electricity. Yeah. That's, electric, yeah. that's an electric car. But still, yeah. that's just, man, you barely, man, ooh. That is, it's roller coaster type shit. It yeah. is, actually. Yeah, yeah it's it like, actually is. <laughs> boom, right, yeah. You just yeah, out. Yeah, no. Zero ooh. to a hundred. That is. Uh, yeah. Zero to 60 mm-hmm. in under one second. Mm-hmm. That's too much under, power. Under one second. That's a little too much power. It's like hot dream. Right. <laughs> Get away from your exes that way. <laughs> but it's gonna be so hard to control. Oh, I yeah. mean, yeah, that that's what the problem is gonna be. Uh, trying to control it. Why would it, you want to go that fast? There, there has to be some kind of like Something. setting, uh, setting where it it doesn't need to go that unless you turn it on, and it's probably illegal. Right. <laughs> but yeah, you, you know, it'd be sad. hard to be like, cause, you know. Just push it and you just fucking take off. You can't control how fast it goes. Yeah. There has to be some kind of like yeah. setting something. or some shit. Because there's no way. Yeah, it'll be hard. But anyways, that is the new era of fucking cars that's coming out. Uh, got a few more. Got a few more things. Oh, shit. This, man, you like sports, right? Well, of course. All right. Uh, two teams in Colorado got a scholarship to play Division One Cornhole. <laughs> that ain't no sport. Well, I guess yeah, it is a hey, sport. They, yeah, I see it on ESPN. Yeah, every it's now on and ESPN. Then. I didn't know this was possible, but two teens in Colorado are given scholarships to play Division One Cornhole for Winthrop College. Jackson Remick and Gavin Heyman. Winthrop is offering over $80,000 in scholarships. Doing shit like this is a new for them. Uh, they also have 42 full ride scholarships for esports. Esports. Yeah, video gamers. Video. Oh yeah. wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, Winthrop College is doing some new shit. Go to Winthrop so, fuck, and they ain't got to study. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's all. Play that, all day. That's how you get it. But it, you know, that's what sports is, uh, especially sports scholarships for. Everybody ain't gonna go pro. Right. So you get this extra money to get this uh, education that you can use to uh, make you, you know, better, money, better still. money. Ooh. All right, uh, I'm going to skip over this, maybe come back to it another day, but I will tap on this because this hits home. Uh, where is it at? And Alabama Supreme Court rules that frozen embryos should be considered children. I saw this been on the news all day. Yeah. About the... Uh, the... Uh, pretty much the reason why I was pissed at this at first is like, what? This is fucking bullshit, all that stuff. But what they're doing is just uh, doing this because this dude went into like where frozen embryos were and like destroyed a bunch of them. So right. they want to put Charge more him. charges on him for destroying other people's possible oh. children. Yeah. Uh, I could see that. I, I thought I that they were that. just trying to be assholes yeah. and do something about the non abort like non abortion yeah. type yeah. shit. Oh, yeah. But yeah. it's more for this one they're changing rules to put more heat on this dude, even though it may fuck other people's later. decisions yeah. up later. So uh oh. just wanna throw that out there because you know I got a test tube baby coming. <laughs> Gonna be so proud. <laughs> Daddy's so proud. Titi's <laughs> <laughs> so proud. Yep, yep. yep. Uh, and we're gonna end with this thing I seen on the internet. Uh, I sent this to my sister, I sent it to several people. But AI is, they, people with AI be doing all kinds of shit. Uh, and so somebody on the internet was like, hey, what if these rappers were white? What would they look like? <laughs> what would they look like? So um, they put it out there. What's up, y'all? If you haven't noticed, I've been using a lot of voiceover on this show because the uh, recording has not been good for me, so I had to redo some of it. I am going to be doing a lot more during this segment as there's a lot of pictures, so bear with me. I will try to recap what went on during this game. Thank you. We're going to show, uh, let's put up Biggie. Now here, my uncle states that he thinks this picture looks like Louis Anderson. I think it looks like the late Ralphie May. Next up is Buster Rhymes. 
I couldn't think of anybody this one looks like, but my uncle came up with Dog the Bounty Hunter. And I agree. That's a good one. All right, the baby. Uh, pull up the baby. He couldn't think of anybody for this one, but I think it looks like running back Christian McCaffrey for the San Francisco 49ers. Dr. Dre. My uncle went with Mark Wahlberg on this one. I didn't think of that. But I said Tommy from Power. I don't know his name, but I call him Tommy from the show Power. Uh, now, Ice Cube. Now, if we're actually scoring points, my uncle would definitely have won on this one because he said Ice Cube looked like Peter Dinklage. And he went on to give his best Peter Dinklage uh, impersonation from the movie Elf. Uh, How dare you? <laughs> Peter Dinklage, he does. I said, like, with the eyes or whatever, kind of like Jason Momoa without the long hair. Yeah. That looks bad. That, that, <laughs> makes, that, <laughs> make, that makes Jason, more sense. Jason Momoa, no. Uh, go to Ice T. I said he looked like Mickey Rourke from the movie The Wrestler, and my uncle agreed. Although I did provide a better picture of mickey rourke uh for the comparison so it doesn't really look like i'm in that picture but overall it does uh that's too good of a picture he look beat the hell up uh jay-z everyone agreed on this one gary owen no questions the only picture I found of Gary Owens where he wasn't smiling. <laughs> <laughs> right. It don't even that, look like yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Kanye West. Unk hit the nail on the head. It's exactly who I had down. Travis Kelsey, Super Bowl champ. Kendrick Lamar. Ed didn't have anybody. He just wanted to state how... This AI made everybody look rough as a motherfucker. But I went ahead and said it looked like Aaron Paul's Jesse from Breaking Bad. So Aaron Paul is who I stated this one looks like. Sticking with the Breaking Bad reference, I had my sister bring up Snoop because I thought he looked like Walter White, a.k.a. Brian Cranston. Had trouble figuring out his name, though. He was going around the city uh, when he was pissed off. Oh, that the, guy that was right there. Walter yeah. White. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Brian. Brian Cr Cranston. Cranston. Yeah, yeah, Brian Cranston. I so like that's his name. Uh, yeah. Go to Lil Wayne. I had no clue on this one, but my uncle stated the dude from the Bear, Jeremy Allen White. Now, yeah, the Chicago family. You watched this shit uh, that Tangie was in. I tell for the crazy episode. family. The, the the ones that was. Shit. Oh, oh. What the fuck's the name? Shit Street. No. No. Not that one. They had no. the black son, the, the little black son, but the, all of them was shameless. Shameless, shameless yes. <laughs> yeah. He looked like all right. We'll see. Looks uh, like who? The, the 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 brother, the one the, the oldest brother. The brother that oh, went to college. Lee. 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 Uh, uh lip. 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 Yeah. All right. Go to L O Cool J. Uncle was like, "Oh, that's the rock." That's who I had written down as well. Next is Method Man. I said Turtle from Entourage. What do you think? Uh, Rick Ross. This one was a hard one for the others as well, but I used to watch this show called Into the Badlands, and it looked like Baji and Tupac. I couldn't think of anybody at first on this one. Then my uncle says something ridiculous, but then I figured it out. Uh... There was those three movies, uh, Unbreakable, and then that one where he's the uh, person with the multiple personalities. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh you know, what is his name? What is his name? Edward uh, Norton. No. Not, Not Edward Norton. Norton. Uh, because he was name? also uh, Professor Xavier in the uh, new... X Men. Yeah, 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 I can't think of it. It's not Ed Norton. No, no, no it's not. No. I, I can't think of his I name. I can't think of it. I know who I. I'm seeing him, and I can't even. He's got that English accent. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. I can't think of his uh, name. Yeah, I don't. All know. right, that guy. <laughs> yeah. So, all right, that's it. Uh, that's all we have for you 
today. Uh, thank you for playing that game. Uh, who do you think these people look like? Uh, write in the comments. Uh, go back, look at the pictures uh, of the rappers and say, who do you think they look like? Uh, yeah, just ch say who you think they look like. Let me know. I would love to hear who you think. Uh, I've been George I. Courtright. Sorry for the delay, but shit happens. Thank y'all for coming out, watching. Uh, I'd like to thank my uncle for coming out. Well, thank you for having me. All right. <laughs> What's your name? Eddie James. And this is A Mad Week. Who we got behind the controls? IDC. No. Yeah, what, uh, what, 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 I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> do it like I, do it like I told you to. Do it. I R A C O R T R I G H T on a mad week. There we go. <laughs> That's what we do. Thank